You do understand, Mr. Hamilton, that as president, I have the authority to decide on junior officers. Without question, sir. But General Washington will only accept his charge on the condition that I serve as his second in command. Naturally, you may decline to accept the arrangement. Of course not, Mr. Hamilton, of course not. It is uh, somewhat irregular, but uh, I would never countermand his wishes, sir. If I may, sir. A company will be subdivided into two platoons. A platoon into two sections, a section into two squads. A squad will consist of four files of three or two files of six. Perhaps later, Mr. Hamilton, we are removing ourselves to Peacefield to avoid the yellow fever before it strikes. You might want to leave the city yourself, sir. Well, General Washington, I suggest this. A blue coat without lapels, yellow buttons, and double bullion tag with fringe, each with three stars. Obviously, there's collar cuffs and pocket flaps will be double embroidered, as will the buttonholes. Yes, but of course it is a matter of how the army is to be used, Mr. Hamilton, is it not? To what end? You see, its presence will be provocative, whatever the color of the uniforms. If we're forced to rely on incompetent state militias for our defense, we may as well start learning French now, Mr. President. A national army binds the country much as a national bank does. Now, training manual <laughs> is essential. Here, we have an illustration for the command, head right. Now, at the word right, the soldier turns his head to the right briskly, but without violence, bringing his left eye in line with the buttons of his waistcoat and his right eye looking along the breasts of the soldiers to his right. 